Ever since Darwin, biologists have understood the importance of the tree of life metaphor. In Philomath, we will learn how to infer that tree and how to use it to understand biological processes. Philomath is made possible through a career grant from NSF, as well as ongoing support from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Phylogenies are essential for a lot of what we would do. Um, and there's, of course, many ways to build your own. We'll talk about those later in the semester. But you can also use someone else's. And so you think about it, someone's going through a lot of effort to build a tree, um, get it peer reviewed, use the best methods, best um, available data. It'd be nice if you could reuse it. And so most papers actually don't have trees anywhere usable, um, but some do. And so over 20 years ago, Sanderson et al. created this database called TreeBase to store published trees. And so within TreeBase, you can search for studies, get the trees from the studies, download them, and use them yourself. With proper accreditation, with proper citation. So here is this main search interface for TreeBase. Okay, um, you can search within for taxa. Okay. And TreeBase is, can be a little slow to load, so I've preloaded tabs for this. So you can search for, say, Anolis. And TreeBase's search is case sensitive, meaning looking looking for uppercase Anolis will give you different results from than lowercase Anolis. So I can search here. Go. and get you know, the set of results. I can select a few names, which I care about, and then go look at the studies that have those names in them. And here's a pre-made set of those studies. Okay, And so I can look down and then read the title, read the authors, read when it was published and what journal it was in, to help me figure out which studies might be useful for me. All right, so. This study could be useful, this study could be useful. Um, you know, this study on mammal diversification could be a good study, probably not a good study for Nolus. Right? So let's pull up this study. So Townsend et al., 2011, has lots of genes, could be good. Um, and of course, what you should do at this point is go and read the study. Right? So here, if you have the full citation, you can look it up, read the article, see if it's made in the way, see if the tree was made in the way that you believe in. Um, so you think about adding stuff to that tree. Um, if it's really tree you think is good enough, we can then download it. Right, so from this, you can go um, to the trees for this. Okay. And you can see what kind of tree it is. It's a majority rule tree. You don't know if it's, you don't know if it's parsimony or likelihood or something else. We can then read the paper and figure that out. And then we have three options to download it, uh, starting from the right. Uh, we have original file. So the authors wrote the paper, they have their tree file, they upload it directly to TreeBase, you can download that as it is. You download the reconstructed file. So when the file is loaded, TreeBase can do some manipulations on it, um, add other information, so you can download that, that file. Or you can download this file in an XML format. So this is an XML format used for storing trees. It's not very popular right now, but it might get more popular in the future. So for right now, let's download the reconstructed file. So we just click on that, it downloads, okay. and then go to you know find or whatever and open that. And here's the file. And we see it has you know name, dot next, and dot txt. Um, it actually should be dot next, so you can change the file name. I'll change it to dot next. Yes. We can open that in various programs. So I could open that, for example, in a text editor, like Atom. And here we see the actual file contents. All right, so on the right, we see the overall structure of the file. And here you can see the little lines. So it's a Nexus file, so it starts with number sign Nexus. Comments and brackets are typically ignored with a few exceptions. So this tells us information when we download the file what version of TreeBase this came from, importantly, the reference. And so when you use a tree from TreeBase, you should always cite the authors as well as citing TreeBase. So this both gives credit and also lets readers of your paper go back and check to see how the tree was actually made. Okay. Then Nexus files have a series of blocks. So begin something, so begin taxa, begin Mr. Bayes, begin trees. And then we have a taxa block, it tells us how many taxa we have, what their names are. And that block ends. We have a block that has the trees, 
and the trees have a sort of newick format. I'll talk about what that means in a little bit. Um, and so you have the tree, the tree name, whether it's rooted or not. So here it's rooted. And then this tree format, in this case, includes um, uh, branch lengths. Okay, and that block ends. So we could open that file in something like mesquite. Open. In mesquite, also instead of taxa, and then can show us the trees. Um, most of the time now, nowadays, we work in R. So we can go use the ape package, library ape. We can, if we forget where the, what the tree's name is, we can call this command and just look inside that folder. Oh, it's called that. Okay, copy that. I can then load the trees in the read nexus function. So read nexus, the path to the tree. So where the tree is stored on our computer. So our home folder. Then in my case, downloads, and then the tree file name. And if it didn't throw any errors, we can type phi and get a summary of that. It says 76 tips, 74 internal nodes, it has no labels, but it has branch lengths. And then you can just plot that tree. I see the tree with names. Of course, then we can finesse it and make the name smaller or hide the names or things like that. That's the essentials of getting a tree from TreeBase. Um, what you might want to do is go back and look at various studies we have and look at other studies, see if they have more taxa, see if they look like they're a more reliable study for your question. You could try doing your, your analysis on multiple different trees and see how, how robust the results are to your tree's choice. Okay, um, but it's just a way of getting trees.